welcome to the channel. Um, today, uh, Tony, a friend from up the road, um, he, we met and he gave me back my Mesa Boogie Mark 525 and I returned to him his boss pedals and um, he said I've got something in the car for you. He may not have said this verbatim, I'm just painting the story. Um, do you want to check this out? And it's a Greco Super Real, I think, SA1200 or something like that. Obviously based on an ES335. Now at the time of this being made, presumably in the 80s or late 70s, something like that, I'm not sure that Gibson were making the best stuff that fall into the Norlin era, I think. Anyway, this is made in the Fujigen Gaki, what's the word? Factory, right? Um, obviously, mahogany neck, maple body, and I don't really know what to expect them nitro guitars. This one has a slim taper neck. I can honestly say this is one of the best guitars I've ever played. Um, certainly the best ES335 that I've ever played. Not that I've played many, but I have played a couple of real Gibsons. And for me, this one, you could play this guitar and never think I want to play another ES335 again. So congrats on that, Tony. Um, it's just beautiful to play. <laughs> So yeah, I wasn't knowing quite what to expect from it, except that it's an old guitar and hollow. To me, it is a little bit reminiscent of the casino that you saw me play the other day. In terms of feeling really lightweight, having a lovely feeling neck, um, but yeah, this is easily. best ES335. Just a beautiful feeling neck, a really comfortable under the hand. I don't know how much money these things actually go for now, probably quite a lot, right? Um, but I think this could totally kill any gas that you might have. Thank you. 
don't know if you could get this one cheaper than a Gibson Custom Shop anymore. I think the cat is well and truly out of the bag on Greco Super Reels, but definitely worth looking out for one, I think. And um, for me, if I did see some, something like this come up and it was within grasp, I wouldn't hesitate to grab one because that's quite an incredible guitar in my opinion. <laughs> which I'm actually really liking because of the, the slimness of the neck. Just lovely. Cheers, Tony. We'll see more of this on the channel in the next few days I think. Have any of you ever played a Greco and what did you think of it? That's beautiful. <laughs>